Hi guys, Cassandra here with Opera for Black Folks, and on this channel, I share videos that break down the classical arts and opera from the Jamaican American perspective. Let's jump in. All right, so why did I want to create this channel? And my first reason is because I didn't have this resource when I was a child and I feel like it's great to have it. We have the YouTube algorithm that everybody has access to all over the world. If you have a Gmail account, you have a YouTube account. And I just felt like I should create a space where if some young person or old person or a middle-aged person or whoever, however old you are, wanted to start diving into the classical arts but have felt intimidated or felt like it's not for you or felt like you know this is only for a certain group of people well here is you know my sharing my experience of of opera and of the classical arts in a fun shareable way on youtube so if you want to join my journey to just expand your ears a little bit and hear from a different perspective subscribe below <laughs> okay okay so reason number two is that it's intimidating it's intimidating to be the minority um and that you have to take up so much space for so many that aren't there like you come with everybody else that because people are looking at you like why are you the odd man out and um unfortunately the classical arts have been dominated by uh our white counterparts because it was birthed in Europe and while there is a melting pot of cultures uh, that are very close to one another in succession with one another with one another they don't always mix but um, but and the times that they have mixed is usually expressed through music which is cool great but um, it's been dominated by one sect one group of people for a really long time and it, that does not mean that it's not for others of different uh, cultural backgrounds it means it can be for everybody but that there is a bit of a learning curve um, to learn to appreciate something and I liken it to food in that um, you know you don't always when you're a little child and you're learning to take in food other than mom's breast milk you know some things are really amazing like I saw this great reaction of a child tasting chocolate for the first time and he was just like oh, what is this this is amazing and that's great like some things are an automatic like and then some things you have to cultivate an appreciation for like I don't know artichokes like I'm sure there's people out there that love a buttery an artichoke dipped in lots of melted butter and you're just like mmm but it, maybe if you never grew up with that or heard of it it might be a little bit weird to see that for the first time and you might have to learn to try to appreciate it like what is an artichoke where does it come from why would I eat that thing it looks like a spiny like pine cone right <laughs> or an, an exaggerated pine cone but it doesn't mean that we can't appreciate it once you get to exposed to it and I think classical arts is the same way I think opera is the same way it's if you have a limited perspective on what it is which is usually <laughs> you know terms like the show ain't over till the fat lady sings it's usually some fat white person singing it loudly in another language is like what usually comes to mind when we think about opera which brings me to reason number three I just the other day uh, my friend and I were having a happy conversation chat and he still was just like yeah i really thought that opera singers needed to be fat in order to sing and that's not a prerequisite in fact singing is very physical and therefore you actually need to have a strong back and strong core and strong lungs and it helps to be active and be able to move your body because you're basically an athlete of air right so I just want to dispel that myth like no opera singers come in all shapes and sizes and colors and that there are hundreds of thousands of opera singers of color and it's really annoying to me still <laughs> but it's the thing that I get the most is that when people learn that I am a singer and not only learn that I am an opera singer they look like they've seen a unicorn like oh, what is this this thing that does not exist because they're so used to to only associating opera with one class of people one genre and they'll say things like oh my gosh it's so niche and it's so rare and it's like actually not really it's been around for 400 years and it's still a really great platform and an art form and therefore that's why people do it hence that's why i'm an opera singer <laughs> you know like it's not over and done just because you might not be enjoying and tasting and regularly consuming opera just like you might not know the joys of eating i don't know really great mac and cheese because you're from uh china and you don't eat mac and cheese and so you don't know how delicious mac and cheese could be because you just don't know what it is it's the same concept it's just art and we have different tastes for art and we can expand our tastes and so 
that's why I wanted to create this channel to help expand people's cultural appreciation for different things. And opera is just right up there with one of those great things that we can do. Anyway, moving on to reason number four. Usually people think that opera is only for one diaspora of people and that's just, and therefore because it's only from one European sort of base, that means that no one else can appreciate it. And that's just silly because when I really think about what opera truly is, um, yes, it's been dominated by a European sensibility. It's cultivated, created and cultivated in that, and that it took people of noble blood and ability and means really just to have the means with order in order to contract the musicians, to pay them, to have things produced on your behalf. Usually you had to have some kind of money. And back then in the, the in the, uh, 13th and 14th century when we were exchanging money like usually it was you were a lord and then you had peasants on your land and the two never mixed so it wasn't like this peasant was chilling out having a blast listening to you know like uh, music on their iPhone or whatever it was you just didn't get exposed to that music because you didn't have access to those means whereas if you were of the aristocracy and you had generational wealth and that generational wealth gave you privilege to enjoy the arts then you know when you're bored you want to listen to something so you'd better have a piano around so that you can play or you hire you have the money to hire the local composer to write you something so that you have something to enjoy and listen to that's how music was shared was like you had to have money which is why opera is still expensive but then you know when you really think about it those are just telling stories right it's just storytelling because what is opera opera is basically a story that is told through music where the story is sung the text is sung rather than the text being spoken like in movies movies are still sharing a story but the text is spoken by the actors whereas in an opera the actors are singers hence they are singing actors and therefore they're going to sing through the expression that is uh, being portrayed in the music because there was a composer who wrote the music and a librettist who wrote the story and those two people collaborated together to create a story set to music with actors who sing the text instead of singing it uh, instead of speaking it therefore it's just storytelling and storytelling is for everybody no matter what your cultural background is we all have stories to tell and it's great that opera is taking a new and expansive twist and incorporating more colors from different uh, diasporas from the african diaspora from actually there's literally operas in every single language any language that you can speak in <laughs> there has probably been an opera written because there's stories to be told in all those different languages it's just in a different language with a different culture with a different twist with a different sensibility of how we appreciate that music and how that music is actually cultivated, birthed, and shared, right? So that, <laughs> that, there's a lot. It's been dominated by Europeans for a long time, but everybody's story gets to be told. And it happens to be that operas is the place where I like to express that. So hence I decided to make this channel. So yes, that's that. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's my share for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, what really stuck with you? Why are you interested in opera? Leave a little comment below or why you're interested in the classical arts. Um, and be sure to hit that little subscribe button. Thank you so much. This is Opera for Black Folks, serving culture to all folks. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you next week. Ciao.